Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of What is Going On at Crossworld Studios. My name is Everett Carney, and I am thrilled to have you join me today. Uh, today, we're going to update everyone on what's been happening with the first game that we're launching, Planet W. Uh, Planet W is, just to recap, a tower defense game where you are pitted against an opponent. Uh, at launch, it will be a computer opponent. But it's a one-on-one -on -one match to control territory on the newly discovered planet W, which is a frozen ice planet uh, recently discovered near our solar system. So in this game, you design a, uh, a team, basically. You create a team of five minions, of up to five minions, and five towers. You use the minions to attack your opponent and the towers to defend your base. Uh, wins increase your rating for that week, uh, loses decrease your rating for that week, and every week there is a tournament between all of the players who would like to play where you can queue your team, and the position that you end that week on in this tournament is uh, it basically dictates how many Crossworlds tokens you earn uh, for participating. Everyone earns tokens no matter what um, the top 10 positions earn quite a bit more than anyone that places below 10th place, but everyone gets a good chunk of tokens every week just for making a team and adding it into the queue. So today what I wanted to show everyone is the AI that's been built, uh, the first edition of the AI that's been built, I should say. Uh, in addition to the very first, to the best of my knowledge, player versus player on-chain experience, uh, designed to be used in a mobile environment. So a lot of people know uh, when you're playing a mobile game, you you are playing with other people when you're online, but you don't usually play uh, actively together. Uh, there are some games that do that, of course, uh, MOBA games specifically, but uh, most of the time you you have some sort of asynchronous player versus player, meaning that you know whenever you're available for a match, you can go and you can start a match and then the outcome of that match uh, gets recorded on the game servers, and you you know you either defeat or or lose defeat your opponent or lose. Um, so, translating that from modern day gaming into blockchain games uh, is interesting. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how we are approaching that uh, at the time, uh, or sorry, at this moment. Uh, again, this is all subject to change. This is very early alpha. I want to stress again that there has been no artistic application, uh, no artistic um, ability or, or anything applied to our games yet. These are very proof of concept um, games that are using free assets. Uh, so we can really focus in on the core gameplay in addition to how we are linking the blockchain to a real mobile game built in the Unity game engine. So um, just to go back in here really quick, you can see that I have set up this team um, these are my minions. These are my towers. I have a bunch down here. I'm not going to use them. Um, and we've gone over you know, upgrading items, opening, opening item packs, and things like that in other videos. So I really want to focus today on what it means to do on-chain PvP. So right now, I queued up for a match, and my game went out to the EOS blockchain live mainnet right now and said, hey, I need a player for this person to play uh, who is not the same player. So uh, obviously you don't want to face yourself. That wouldn't be that exciting. So this is a, an account that's live. They've set up a team. I can see what their minions and towers are, what their power level is, which is the summation of, of you know, how how many sort of points, I guess you could say, they get for having uh, this team set up, in addition to their weekly rating. And this rating is what will change as you win and lose a match. Um, it's an ELO-based rating system. Um, when you win, you gain points relative to the rating of your opponent. Uh, the game actually uses some of EOS's built-in ability to uh, find someone near your rating level, which is really cool. It's something that uh, EOS does well, and it's extremely beneficial in this case. Um, so we're going to go ahead and say, all right, let's fight this person who's probably got just a randomly generated account name. And we're going to start. And that start kicks off 
a um, a timer and you have a couple seconds to try and and set up your team before the computer opponent starts sending minions at you. And you can see here that uh, you know that my opponent's sending enemies at me. I'm sending enemies at him. He's lost a couple lives. I've lost a couple lives. Uh, I've got some income. And once again, I want to stress that this game is not balanced. There's been no design work yet. Uh, this is strictly just proof of concept for the engine. Um, clearly, there has been no art. It's just a basic path that the, the minions run down. You can place some towers around. You can also upgrade the towers and sell them. Um, what we have here is a functioning tower defense game. It's not pretty, but it's functional. And uh, we are now in the process of taking it from a functional proof of concept to a live, real, good-looking tower defense uh, that people you know want to come in and play. And this is where we are looking at, at our community to help us with this. We are looking for artists. We are looking for designers, developers. Um, and we actually have a system that we will be releasing more information about that I can uh, show you a slight preview of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to requeue you see I got a different player. And again, these are all live EOS accounts. Uh, and I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But he has a different team, different account name, same rating. Everyone's 1,200 right now. There's no, we aren't messing with that yet. Uh, but his power level is different. So he's slightly less. And uh, you can see he's got more you know, low uh, rating items in his on his side. So uh, I'm going to hit start, but I'm going to hit pause in the Unity engine and I'm going to hit pause after they send some guys just so you can see. So right now uh, we have lives, gold, income. And in the other video that we've recently released where we talk about the player driven design, uh, these are actually the types of things that you can affect as a player. And what I'm going to do now is go to the blocks uh, uh, website and I'm going to resize my Window, I apologize here, um, just so we can show you what it looks like when you actually can affect the games that you play, which is one of the awesome things that we have access to uh, because we are building a blockchain game. So this is the blocks.io um, website. Right here, we're looking at the Crossroads 1 contract. Um, you can see all kinds of different things here, but the interesting thing is this contract and the contract actions, tables, and ABI. So what this means is that I can come in and publicly see the game rules right here, TD rule, that drive the tower defense game that we're all playing. And if you remember, there was a starting gold, player lives, and starting income. Um, we have an engine built into Unity that we've designed that takes these attributes and these numeric values. Um, right here, you can see uh, you know rule name, duration. These are all zero duration because they happen instantly. Um, there's all kinds of different uh, customization options here. But basically, we can see that we start the game with 2,500 gold. Uh, here's our description as well. We start the game with 15 lives, and we start the game with 125 gold income. Um, now, for the, the developers or the people who are interested in computer science out there, uh, you'll recognize that these are floating point values. Um, it's not relevant to, to most people, but you know, even if you don't know much about computer science, uh, you can see here that when our player design system is released, you'll be able to come in and actually say, Oh, no, no, 2,500 gold is too high. I think we should start the game with 2,000 gold. And you can propose that to your fellow players and see if they agree with you. And if everyone agrees with you and you get enough votes uh, based off of the amount of staked Crossroads tokens that people are willing to contribute to your game proposal, you actually can affect the game that you play and change that starting gold value every game, every two weeks these, t these values update. Uh, from then on, it will be 2,000 until someone comes along and proposes a new change. So every two weeks, you'll be able to change that value, and you'll be able to, to affect any piece of the game in addition to proposing new, uh, new units. You could propose 
new unit abilities, uh, events that happen in the games, uh, all kinds of different things. You basically have complete control over the game that you play. And every single game in the Cross Worlds universe will be built to uh, allow players to do this. And in fact, rely on players in the community to really make the games their own. So I hope you all will find this as interesting as and exciting as I do. I'm thrilled to be able to finally talk about the stuff we've been working on for so long. And I can't wait to show you guys the next round of exciting announcements. Um, and we will be getting people into the beta, uh, or I should say early alpha as soon as possible. Once again, we are looking for developers, we're looking for artists, and we, uh, we would love the community's contribution. Any money that is or sorry, any EOS that is spent on item packs uh, goes directly to the games. So if you would like to contribute in that way, that is also greatly appreciated. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.